Green College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. If there was one word I was going to use to describe the communication arts program at Adrian College, it would be unique. Students find themselves on the radio, in front of and behind the camera, and directing their own programs. Students learn in a personalized environment that sets them up for world of opportunities. Are you ready for your moment in the limelight? Learn more about the Rush Communications Center and Adrian College's communications program by visiting adrian.edu today. I'm Matt Kibbe, the current student body president here at Adrian College. I chose AC because the campus simply feels like home. Everywhere I go, I know the amenities are there to help me succeed and get to the next level in my career. If you want to see what Adrian College has to offer, you can schedule an in-person visit at adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Adrian College has dozens of athletics programs and winning is a staple on our campus. We have the culture of winning in and out of the classroom. This is a place where young men and women grow into professionals for life. Are you interested in learning more about the Bulldog experience? Visit adrianbulldogs.com and the Recruit Me tab to be recruited to play your sport of choice today. If you have what it takes, you could be a Bulldog in no time. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, 
Leaders who can electrify sold-out crowds, got out a last-line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged, experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent 
and accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Dockey, back in August I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham. Class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead.
Friday night. We are one day away from ending the work week going into the weekend. But the Bulldogs still have a little bit of their job to do left as we get ready and get set for this Friday night NCAA NCHC matchup between the visiting University Finlandia Lions and your Adrian College Bulldogs. Hello everyone, coming to you live from Arrington Ice Arena, this is Alex Herman. Happy to be here to bring you tonight's play-by-play -play coverage for this NCAA hockey matchup. Last five games for the visiting Finlandia Lions, not going the way that they had hoped things would. 0-5 in their last five appearances. And on the other side, the Bulldogs skating in, winning their last five. So a complete polar opposite record coming into this evening. Finlandia, a composite 2-11-1 on the season. Adrian, 12-2-1. And at center ice, the puck is dropped and off to the race as we go. Spodniak will get this down low as Redding will press on. This is lifted out high off the glass by Schrader. And it will be whistled down early for the icing as we'll take our first stoppage in play. Just about 16 seconds ticking off the clock. And we'll take the face off in the offensive zone for Adrian College on TV left for those of you watching at home on ACTV. And here's a quick shot coming from Luciani as it was knifed away, sailed high into the netting once again. A little deja vu will go right back to that left side face-off circle. Matthew Redding, Alessio Luciani, and Matu Spodniak, the top line out, sent first for the Bulldogs. One you have to be aware of if you're the Finlandia Lions coming to this game, they've put up a lot of points. And we'll get an offsides call once again, and personnel change coming out. Both squads getting fresh legs. Nothing coming of the game so far. Neutral zone draw, one back by Potosha. Klein, D to D pass, Saint for Babiak. He wraps it down low. Ends there to meet it. It was stopped by Todorovic. Ends fires on in between the slot. Went was a little tied up, couldn't hold on to the pass. Here's a long shot from up top at the right point as it sailed wide towards the left side. This is being picked up by Messier. Pushed up top, Klein with the snapshot. First save of the night for Dakota Meyer. Right side tied up, finally broken free. Totorovic. Down low, under the goal line. Here's Enns. That shot was taken. Here's Potosha with a drive of his own. Not enough muscle on it. This is dangled on top of the goal. Now loose in front. Potosha tried to slap one in front. Loose puck, it's finally poked away. Myring was able Excuse me, Meyer was able to stick it down low and a huge hit right in front of the bench. Babiak with the contact. Klein picks up. Bulldogs have controlled all play for the first two minutes. Here's Enns, drops it in. A shot on inside the skates. Couldn't reach the goal. Lifted out of the zone. Not far enough for the icing as it's quickly waved off. Long stretch pass up. Murphy was all alone, but it escaped the grasp. He'll circle down low. In the slot, spinning on the backhand. It's loose. Finally poked free. Spencer. Has it, pulls a little bit of a Keith Yandel sock. May with it. Back to Spencer. The neutral ice crosses the red. Tallarico stops on the backhand, puts it on the forehand and off the glass as it's tied up along the right side. Spencer to the Dinier. Murphy spinning with it. Finally races up. They were too far as it's blown dead for the offsides. The 
Just about three minutes gone here at Arrington Ice Arena. Finlandia Lions and your Adrian College Bulldogs here live at Arrington Ice Arena. Long shot was sent on. Easy stop for Dakota Meyer. A sophomore from Alpena, Michigan. Staying in his home state for both this evening's contest and his choice of university. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we apologize greatly for the technical difficulties that we've been having. Had our computer that controls all of our camera angles and tech up here in the booth crash unexpectedly. So that's why you saw the disruption in the game, but hopefully we're back live here on ACTV, on YouTube. 9.31 left to go in the first period. Score still nodded at zero apiece. 12 shots in favor of the Bulldogs, one for the Lions. Play has, as you can tell, been heavily dominated by this Adrian offense. They're so strong in the O-zone. So many assets that they have on the bench that they can rely on too. And First line out here for the Bulldogs. Matthew Redding, Alessio Luciani, and Matu Spodniak. Here's Klein, fires a shot on. Meyer with the pad save. This is chipped off the boards, broken up. Two on one if they can hurry. It was stripped away. Here's Luciani. Moves it over, Spodniak on the backhand. Luciani couldn't put it home. Had plenty of room. A bouncing puck. Not what you want ideally when you're in that situation. Tried to make the most of it, but couldn't bank it home. A backhander lofted into the zone by Bayer. With it in his own zone, Ibarra. Walsh has it towards the right corner. Coming in to try and take it away is Went. Pushed up top, D to D pass. Ryder, that wouldn't go. Walsh again, able to chip it out. Not over the goal line. But somehow icing waved off. Officials deciding to continue play and Enns turns the puck over, trying to make a move there. Was Eng a shifty stick handling play? A spinning backhand. Kangas able to push that under the goal line. Tipped high off the glass in neutral ice. Enns with the takeaway, moves towards the slot, fires this shot, and that just goes wide. Swade pushed back up top. Spencer, a wrister. That was blocked before it reached the goal mouth. Swade, a bounce pass. Bounced over the stick of Spencer. As horizontally, Calgin catches it. Looking for the net. And he hits the wrong one as it's sent up into the uprice. As we'll stop with 7.03 left to go in the first period. 
No scores have been recorded yet. We're still at a zero to zero hockey game. Offensive zone draw. One back, Spencer to Adinier. Looks back for Spencer, fires on. Sails a little too high over the crossbar and the lines look to break out. Getting it through, Nate Holm was played. Spencer matched the speed quite nicely as he picks up off the glass and down low. Beyer has it, a takeaway and a spinning shot coming off the stick by Lovisek. Once again, down the center. Now to the left is Summers. Spinning around, finds that over. Klein is open on the left blue, but it was taken away. With some speed, here's Ibarra. Checked hard, shot on, sticked aside by Tallarico. Loose scramble in front. Bulldogs able to clear it out. A scary play there for Nick Tallarico. Only seen three shots through 15 minutes. This is played over, and up top for Klein. In the center, May had his shot blocked. Klein fires to Summers. In the center, taken away, Ibarra. Down his right wing, near side on the television dial. Makes a nice walkthrough play there, trying to do it all itself. The Bulldogs able to take it away. Racing down is May. Through the center, trying to fire one was Murphy. Didn't have the space or time he needed. Bulldogs doing a good job in their own old zone. Haven't been able to find the back of the net yet, and I believe the Bulldogs now will be called for a penalty. Brad Summers We'll have to sit down for the next two minutes. A hooking call. And Finlandia jumping to the power play. Some certainly needed time that they need to try and jump ahead on the scoreboard. A point one twenty nine power play percentage for the Lions, and an 8.95 penalty kill percentage for the Bulldogs. Let's see what happens here. Short-handed bid, Luciani puts it on. Stopped easily by Meyer. Home, in between the hashes, looks to set up. Gets a pass, dropped back to him. Luciani takes it away. Luciani in! And a save by Meyer, a follow-up chance. And that went wide. Erickson, a sneaky play there by Redding. Somehow jumped under the Finlandia defense. Almost took it away on his own to try and get another short-handed shot. Finlandia barely even able to make it out of the zone thus far, and finally they do. Race up on side, we'll have to set up shop, trying to send it into the middle for Messier, it's broken up. Luciani sends it the length, and they'll get a change out. With it now is Walsh, connects with Ibarra. On the right side to Schmidt, he's taken down. Spencer fights for it. Wrapped up top, stopping it at the right blue is Walsh. Now down low. Up top at the key, a long shot on, tipped wide. Dinier tried to clear it out, but it didn't escape the zone yet. Final seconds of the power play expiring. We'll go back to even strength hockey. Walking in was May. Try to be too shifty with it, but somehow able to drop it over, and they score! What a play! 
Connor May with the assist of the year. Ryan Petosha will get the credit for the goal. But an incredible play from the junior, Connor May, was taken down and somehow was able to pass that puck behind his back while he was on the ice. The Bulldogs now lead by one. Here's a tip shot in front, a little too high by ends. 2.39 left to go here in the first in regulation at Arrington. Klein steps up to make a hit. This is loose in front. A scramble and possession finally taken. Shot on was blocked. Dropped back, Nagy tried to fire on. In the slot, spinning with the shot was Nate Holm. Down low, here's Austin Klein. Slowly but calculated. Finds his way up the ice and meets ends. Towards the corner, Klein gets it back. Has the one-time option, but the shot wasn't taken. And firing it off of a shin pad was ends. They'll skate off and get a D change. Klein receives it down low. A quick hit there on Zydell. So this shot was chopped up. Turning up speed, Murphy. Patiently waiting down low is Cotto. Connects as Summers. Receives the pass and skates up neutral. Murphy, a backhander off the skate of Garrett Alton. Tied up. Along the right side as we near the final 60 seconds of the first period of play. A dump in sent on by Bostwick. Pushed up. 50 seconds left to go. Spodniak pulls up, looking for a shot. Dropped for Ryder. Has it up top. Spencer down low. All along, a blocker save made by Meyer. Ryder cycles up top, fires over. Spodniak spinning. What a save there by Meyer. Reaching across, I believe, with the blocker side waffle. As Spodniak blew a tire, not able to hold on to the pass from Ryder. But here's an odd man opportunity. Luciani drops back. What a play, a give and go. And they just fibbed it at the last second. Final second attempt. Ryder tees it up and it's wide. Horn sounds and that's gonna do it for the first 20 minutes of play here at Arrington Ice Arena. Bulldogs only leading by a tally but heavily out shooting the Finlandia Lions 16 to five as both teams retreat to their respective locker rooms. And we'll see what the next 20 minutes has in store for us once again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex Herman here live on ACTV from Arrington Ice Arena. We'll return with the second period after this commercial break.
as you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define your college years. You stand today, students, on the threshold of one of the most magical times in your life. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold-out crowds, got out a last-line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself.
April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Dockey, back in August I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here live on ACTV. It's Friday Night Hockey. Coming back to you after the first 20 minutes of play. The Bulldogs currently leading by a score of one to nothing as both teams take to the ice to continue play for this second frame. 16 shots on net for the Bulldogs, five for the visiting Finlandia Lions. We saw one goal, Ryan Petosha was able to find the back of the net from a sweet assist coming from Connor May. If you didn't catch it before, was down on the ice on his back, somehow miraculously played the puck over into the slot without looking. And the Bulldogs were able to capitalize as 20 minutes put back on the score clock as we get set to drop the puck. And off to the races we go. Here's Kodo on his own blue. Chops it up. Losing an edge was Spodniak. Looks like he's okay as he skates on. A good takeaway. Spodniak lofts it down low. Luciani plays it on the forehand. Now up top at the blue. Ryder fires on. Spodniak. Almost got there, it's lifted up top off the glass and out of the way. Cotto to Luciani, breaks in, fires a shot, a loose scramble and it jumps around. And holding on to it, Dakota Meyer played an awkward bounce. Fortunately for him, went his way. Forty seconds ticking off the clock. Right side draw being taken for the Bulldogs. A packed house here at Arrington Ice Arena. Seats are filled with students and fans, parents alike. Great sight to see. A long shot up top came from the stick of Ruffin. Shouldered off and down below the play. Went, muscles it around the boards. Potosha will chase. It's poked free to Torovic. Here's Messier, left side, shot taken. Tallarico might have got a piece of the glove, but sailed wide nonetheless. Quickly wrapped up top. In transition, here come the Lions. Flown around the high glass. He's playing it and then kept in. Here's Meyer, that was fired up top. Oh, we talked about it just a couple of moments ago. Could be one of the more full crowds we've seen here in quite some time. I don't even see any empty seats here in the stands. Black and yellow Adrian colors. High in number here for this evening's contest. The women's NCAA team, if you didn't catch it earlier, faced off against Lawrence University, were able to come up with a dominant two touchdown, 14 to nothing win. As we got a blown whistle, and down in some pain is Connor May, as we'll take a quick timeout for an injury. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, 
Character, hard work, grit. Leaders who can electrify sold-out crowds, got out a last-line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the delay. Had to take a quick time out for an injury. It was Connor May collided very hard and distinctively into the boards, being escorted currently off the ice to get some medical attention. We hope he is certainly okay. Great training staff here at Adrian College. We'll give him a hand and assess the damages. He's only played in six games this season. Has two assists up till this point. So not a sight you want to see. He's coming back, fighting off an injury, and thankfully was able to more recently towards the tail end of December get back into the lineup. So we'll take the center ice draw as we'll resume play. 18-14 left to go. Denier picks up. Fires up the high glass. Stopped by the skate of Lovasek. Picked up and turned over. A hard hit sent on by Murphy. And a hand pass being called. Summers steps into the circle, faces off against Eng. Tied up, finally broken loose. A quick shot off the circle. Down towards the right side. Summers will try and tie it up, but taking it away is the freshman James Eng. Lost control and a backhander shoveled and handcuffed along the far side board. Both teams trying to break free and finally it's Murphy who gets there in time. There's a long shot hit outside of the net. Going down on the post was Meyer. Adenier plays it in the slot. Going down on one knee was Murphy. Spencer back down low. Tried to connect with Murphy, but he couldn't. Erickson has that lost. Whistled down, unsure of what the call was. We'll take the face off. Neutral ice right in front of the penalty box. Swade and Zydell are the choices for the center. Zydell able to win it back. Walsh had it, played it up. Swade tried to receive a drop pass as it moves to Ryder. He'll have to step back momentarily to move forward, and finally he's able to, but a turnover. Coming the other way is Kangas, trying to dipsy-do his way in as it was stripped away. Here's Swade with some speed. Sends a quick cross-check at the end, and a nice hit there! Laying the body down, John Calgin. Right in front of the Bulldog bench as they're barking. Tallarico tried to stop it, but it hopped over the stick. So the Bulldogs restart their rush here. And a long shot sent on net. Connects with Tallarico and decides to hold on with the glove. 16, 18 left to go in the second frame. is played up Luciani breaks in a nice move fires it over falling down with Spodniak that last second effort as Klein has it two on one turns into a two on two and the Lions pick up a soft backhander 
put towards the opposite side. Quick play by Babiak. Bulldogs touch up as they try and push forward. Sent the other way. Dropping back with it is Salema. Loose in front. Lions find a shot and that wouldn't go. Tallarico makes the stop. Hopped over the stick of Luciani, who couldn't hold on. Now high off the glass, exits the zone. Neutralized, finally sent in. Gloved down easily by Walsh. Tried to find Ibarra. But it's too far and will get the icing. Face off one, Finlandia holds on to it, bounces off the top of the glass. Officials didn't see it, so we continue play. Which Adam Krug questioning the decision. Ends trying to get there in time, and a hard hit sent on. Met with Walsh. Puck sent out of play. Officials will grab a new one. Potosha. Able to win it back as Spencer plays it. Down low, up top. Quick cycle. Adinie tees it up. Long neutral ice. Bouncing puck. Couldn't be held onto by anyone. Finally recollected by Adinie. Racing up with it is Potosha. Breaks on the right side. Finds a shot. And a bouncing puck would not go. Here's Enns, rips one on, hits off the chest. Good stop by Meyer, his 20th of the evening. There's a long pass, Went soccer kicked it. A little too far ahead of the reach of Potosha. Once again, Enns will turn up and gets the reverse hit, but finally sent down hard to the ice. Icing is called. Finlandia not awarded the change, so they'll have to send their existing unit back out. We're trying to get some units off in time. Draw one back. Played in the slot, a backhander. There was plenty of empty net. The Bulldogs right on the doorstep, couldn't get it to go. Arm up on the play. Murphy is down in some pain. We will get a power play for the Bulldogs in just a second. A tripping call. Phil Shader will skate to the box. Apologize, not Phil Shader. He started to go, but it's going to be Luke Kangas. Bulldogs 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. We'll try and convert here as they have the next two minutes, five on four. This is cycled up top. Spodniak towards the right side, ends. Well, give and go, teeing it up was Spodniak, but it was blocked off of the stick. Getting in front of it was Nagy. He tries to make a swipe, Spodniak controlling. Applying the triangle, Enns gets it across on the right side. Enns once again walking the blue to Luciani, pulls up, fires. 
way high and into the netting. Draw one back. Controlling, but then losing it. Luciani on the collection. A give and go, Spodniak. One timer, a chest save. Loose puck and a nice save. Coming from Meyer. Bulldogs are hounding the front of the net. Under a minute left to go, went. Fanned on the one timer. Spodniak to ends. He comes back up top, drop for Spodniak. A floating backhand, couldn't connect with anyone, and finally it's cleared. Tallarico getting the signal to pass it right back up for ends. Murphy walked down and had to pull up there, called down for the offsides. 12.08 left to go in the second period here at Arrington Ice Arena. Alex Herman here live on ACTV. Happy to bring you this evening's coverage of this NCAA matchup. Bulldogs still on the five on four power play for the next 32 seconds as the draw is one back, but nobody could hold on to it. Klein has some speed. Pushing on the gas. Summers lost it in control. Able to pick up though. Forehand to Klein. Left handed shot. There's a push on and that wouldn't go. Final seconds of the penalty ticking off. And we're back to five on five even strength as Finlandia has killed off both of the penalties and a quick turnover. Racing back with some speed was home. But beating him to the puck was Klein and he's crunched into the boards. Walking down, Summers ticked away from him. Moved for Totorovic. Now on the stick of Orpana. That was taken away from him easily. Babyak. To Spencer. Fired back over to Torovic. Down for Messier, a shot on, caromed wide. Summers has a two on one if they can find the time. Calgin on the wide side, here's a shot and a great save by Dakota Meyer. Standing strong in the blue paint, Dakota Meyer, 22 shots. Up at the halfway point in the second period. Has had to seriously fight off some heavy offense coming from the Bulldogs. Keeping his team in a very close one goal game. Meyer comes into the contest in 887 save percentage with a 412 goals against average. He's 2 and 10 on the season, but has gotten the majority of the workload between the three netminders that Finlandia is currently carrying. As Calgen has it, takes a dead angle shot and eaten up in the chest pad was Meyer. to Spodniak back out on the ice. If you notice from up here, Spodniak for this evening's contest wearing an A on his sweater. There were two letter changes coming into this game and that backhander quickly hits off the outside of the iron. Spodniak as well as Kodo both awarded to wear an A on their sweater for the evening. 
Sam Ruffin, Zach Heights, and Jaden Shields all scratched from the game, not by injury, but representing their country at the university games currently over in Lake Placid. So three bigger names for the Bulldogs, not in the lineup tonight, but everybody so far has done their part to step up and fill the roles. And always good for those players to get those opportunities where they can. Denier gloves it down. This is sent all the way down. No icing, Tallarico plays it. And a scary pass as nobody was in front, but connecting with the pass is Spencer. Racing down, here's Spodniak, drops it back. A shot fired. Where's the puck? It's covered. And some punches being thrown. Luciani goes down as the crowd jumps to their feet. Officials stepping in to separate the crowd. Both penalties, excuse me, both players will be escorted off. We'll get likely matching penalties. We'll see what the call is here. Kevin Boswick and Alessio Luciani will both go and sit down. Officials will have a meeting of the minds in front of the scorer's table to figure out what the timing is and we'll catch the replay here of that quick scrap in front of the net. The shot was taken. Making the save was Meyer. And just a confusion of words in front. Don't know what it was said, but likely it was some nice pleasantries. Two minutes being put up on both sides of the score clock. 9.08 left to go in the second period. One to nothing lead still in favor of the Bulldogs as we head to an unorthodox four on four play. So both teams down a member of their squad for the next 120 seconds. Draws put down low. Trying to shake it free for his Lions squad as Bayer comes away with it. Here's Klein, breaks in, dropping it back in the slot. Scramble, it's loose. Trying to get the wrap around and that one wouldn't go. The extra attempt kept out by a sprawling kick save made by Dakota Meyer. Icing waved off. Klein intercepts. Banks it back. A long slap shot. Lions are still off sides, so they decide to make a change. Wendt will have to play the awkward bounce. Pulls up for Potosha. Stops and has it taken away from him. But Wendt comes in for support. One on two outnumbered. Lions control. Here's Nate home. Left side. Tried to toe drag, but it was too much and it was taken away. Quick pass, snap to Murphy. On the backhand, dangles in. And that was chopped high and wide. Here's a wraparound, kick stop Meyer. A second attempt off the backhand. Hit a knee pad in front as it squirts out of the zone and then playing it there was Phil Shader. Just about 20 seconds left in the matching penalties as Murphy handles right side. Pulls up, a blocker save. It's kicked loose. Once again, Bulldogs not able to jump on the loose pucks. This has been a theme for the last couple of minutes. We'll see if they can make any adjustments here. 
Spencer pulls up, fires. That shoulder to side. Played into the netting, we're back to even strength, five on five, and we'll stop just for a moment. 7.04 left to go in the second period. Have to highlight the play so far of Dakota Meyer. He's seen 29 shots, let in only one for 28 saves on the evening. And at the other end, McCallarico only seeing a grand total of seven. So the Finlandia Lions yet to reach the 10 shot mark. As only a couple of minutes remain in the second frame. That was sticked aside towards the corner, but played. Adenier, Spencer walks in, a great shot. And saving it on the post was Meyer. Good patience, showing his confidence. Here's a great move, down on one knee, trying to bang it home was Spodniak. Luciani was down on his knees and some more scrapping. As this time the officials jump the gun early and pull everybody apart. Trying to remind everyone in the game of hockey that we're all friends. And an applause coming from the crowd, realizing that the Bulldogs are heading back to the power play for the next two minutes. It's Max Messier. We'll go to the box and we'll see it on the replay here and why the officials decided to make that call. I believe they figured that he was the instigator right there on that first shove and then the stick coming up high towards the neck of Matu Spodniak. So the Bulldogs haven't been able to find the back of the net on the special team unit just yet. Their third time on the five on four. Klein rips it in and out of the glove of Meyer in a hurry. That shot played and caromed wide. Somers to Klein. Left side, a great shot block. Coming off the shin pad of Nate Holm. Here's Somers, a soft backhander. Patosha on the collection, looking for the wraparound, but decides not to take it. Fires on into the netting. And that will stop play for the next couple of moments. Summers has it to Klein. Shot. Easy stick save played into the chest pad by Meyer. Yeah. We have yet to see Connor May return to the ice. Wonder at this point if his evening is unfortunately over. We do hope that he's well. That shot taken by Spodniak from the right point, once again held on to by Dakota Meyer. Draw one back. Spodniak holds it, finds it over, down low. No shot lane there. Spodniak gets it back. Ends, switching position. Now to the opposite side. Here's a shot! And a great block going down to get in front of it was Nagy putting the body on the line. That one surely has to hurt. Connor Nagy, the freshman from Trenton, Michigan. As this shot was taken, on the goal line, it's waved off, and once again, more punches. And we'll see what will come after the play.
Meyer taking some time to recollect himself. The net had come off of its pegs. The officials set it back down where they belong. And finally, we'll take the draw. Tied up on the circle. One back. It's cleared out, but it's gloved and kept in. Here's Spodniak switching to the top. Down low, hits off the apron. Penalty soon to expire, kick stop by Meyer. We'll fend off the power play once again as we return to five on five. A blind pass sent on Spodniak. Had a little bit of space on the tip. Luciani hooked up. Fans want a call, but they won't get it. Luciani plays it off of the skate. And now down low. Under five to play. Stepping up to get in front of it with Swade. Ends. Now finds Ryder. Long pass up. Here's Lovisek dropping for Swade. Fires into the chest. And Swade sending a cross check on there. Has to be careful with those kinds of plays. The officials showing that they're not scared to make the calls when they have to. Wade stays out, able to win the draw back. Filling in his Calgian. Two on two in the right corner. Two blue sweaters, two white sweaters as it breaks free. Ryder sent it on, but it didn't go. Gets it back once again. We'll have to tip it with one hand on the backhand. Calgian steps up to make the body contact to try and win the puck. Here comes Finlandia. Hasn't seen much ozone time in the second frame. Flipping it up was Swade. Not enough force. So I'll have to figure out how to dig it out of the corner. As Calgen comes in to help him, Swade will chase. As he hunts down Erickson, making the pass forced. Sent towards the right side. Ryder. Knows where his teammates are. Hits Matt Cotto, wears an A on his sweater for the Bulldog squad. 2.36 left to go in second period play as Murphy will tip in on sides. Chopped up in a quick toe drag by Murphy. Wrapped low. Summers trying to find the loose puck. And getting back onto the post quickly was Meyer. Denied that opportunity. Good save from him. Murphy to Summers, switches positions. Orpana walks it in, chopped away from him. Dinier over to Orpana once again. We'll try it through the legs of Summers. Soft backhander, tied up along the right side. Finally, it squirts loose. Eye of Denier gets it back once again, finds Redding. Breaking in, Spodniak! Somehow able to stick the stick out. Miraculously gaining possession there. Almost put it home. 
Bulldogs still looking for that second goal. Obviously, Finlandia there first. This is poked free. Adenier with the long reach, able to play it around the boards as it goes right to left. Touched up once again. A hard pass, couldn't be controlled by Spencer. Accidentally turns over. Rims down low. Having it here is Spencer. There's Luciani taken down. Fans want to call, they won't get it, and now they do. The Bulldogs once again will have another try on the power play. A holding call will be assessed to Alex Walsh. 38.8 .8 left to go in the second frame here at Arrington. Bulldogs still up by a goal on the Finlandia Lions. They can't score in the next 38. They'll start the third period still up a man. As it's played up top. Spodniak found it wide. Luciani, a backhander. Spodniak with his head up. Hits Spodniak down low once again. Wentz is in front. But the pass goes to ends instead. He circles the top circle. Spodniak to ends. Almost lost it over the blue. Not too much time left. Down low. Spodniak had a wide open net, but he put it wide. And a final glove save before the horn sounds made by Meyer. And that's going to do it for the end of the second period. We'll see the last second attempt. Spodniak all alone along the right side. Hammered on the shot, but put it a little bit too far wide of that right post. So the game will still sit at a one to nothing score in favor of the Bulldogs. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Herman. We thank you for tuning in here on ACTV. Zamboni will head to the ice, both teams to the bench and into the locker room. And we will return with more NCAA coverage after the break.
as you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define your college years. You stand today, students, on the threshold of one of the most magical times in your life. is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself.
April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Docky, back in August I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here live at Arrington Ice Arena, getting ready and set to drop the puck for this third and final regulation period of tonight's NCHC, NCAA Division III men's hockey contest between the visiting Finlandia Lions and your Adrian College Bulldogs and starts it off and a quick goal. Six seconds is all it took. The Bulldogs are on the board for the second time on the power play. I didn't even get time to finish the intro. And just like that, the Bulldogs, a quick third period goal, have had so many chances on the power play up until this point. They were 0 for 4 coming into the last couple of seconds. The fifth attempt, they finally get it done. And a pair of goals for the Bulldogs will start us off. Now to finish my thought, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Herman. Happy to have you join us live here on ACTV. And here from Arrington Ice Arena, we hope you're Doing well from all the crew here, producing tonight's action. As 
Some meeting of the minds in front of the penalty box. Defensive zone draw here for the Bulldogs as a look to start things off. Potosha not able to win it back, so playing it is Bostwick. Quoto plays it up and it's dumped in. Went off the right side leg, able to play it. And a tip shot in front and they score! Two in a span of 40 seconds. Bulldogs on the board for the third time tonight. A wacky shot bounced around in between the hash marks. And it looked like Dakota Meyer had lost sight of it. And it just barely squeaked by him. He's been so strong in the contest coming into the frame had seen 40 shots, saving 39 of them, but the last two finding the back of the net as another one, the third in a row, Matthew Redding. Three goals in under 60 seconds. What a shot by Redding when Upstairs, under the crossbar. Finds it top shelf. And beats Meyer once again. What a crazy turn of events here at Arrington Ice Arena. The Bulldogs have been scoring at a pace that is absolutely ridiculous. Didn't even let me finish the opening crawl for the period. Found the back of the net for the second time on their second consecutive shot. And once again for a third time on three straight shots. We'll see if we can get past the first 60 seconds without another goal. And that time we're able to finally, we're under a minute to play. Bulldogs are on the power play too, so they'll get another chance. As Klein fires, sticked aside by Meyer, reaches up with the glove and is able to grab it out of the air. You see it a lot or I shouldn't say a lot, but you see it from time to time in baseball. You get players who will hit back-to-back -back home runs, and then if you're lucky, you'll go back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. That was a baseball moment right there. Bulldogs, three straight shots, three straight goals. Four to nothing is the score. 30 seconds into the power play as Klein shoves it down low. Not taking advantage of the clear as Ibarra, but he breaks in. Dead angle shot, fired on into the netting. Bounced off of the chest of Potosha. And there's going to be another call being made here. The Bulldogs will have one not go their way. Riley Murphy sent to the box. I believe it was unsportsmanlike conduct was the decision. So we'll play four on four for the next minute and 17 seconds if nothing changes. That shot was blocked right off of the draw, but it's kept in. Bostwick not able to control. Swade was galloping up with speed, hoping he was going to get the pass, and finally there he does. Taking his time, spins off. Has a Denier up top and hits him with the backhand. Denier walks in, 
Tried to put it in the slot for a quick one-timer. Couldn't be taken, a collision there between Swade. This is matched up. Salima taken away. Lions caught in an awkward change. Spencer opens up, moves it over, and that was put wide. Just like Spodniak in the late stages of the second, John Calgen had the opportunity for the open net one-timer, but put it just a little too far wide. So we'll continue on as the Finlandia penalty beginning to expire. Tied up in the corner. Five on four power play now for the Lions. This is a whistle down for a penalty, or excuse me, not a penalty, for offsides. Once again, Alex Herman here with today, Josiah Durrell directing for us ever so greatly as he sits in his favorite spot in the rink. Draw is one back as it's tipped up, sent the other way. Luciani, not enough speed to interrupt the play, but he'll still continue to chase. Nice move is onside. Puck is coughed up, though. Hitting off the boards. Here's a two-on-one. Spodniak to Luciani. And a glove save to Dakota Meyer. Dakota Meyer, you have to tap your stick for him. 45 shots sent his way. 41 saves. Entered the third period only allowing one. And it was 39 for 40, an impressive stat for sure. And regardless of the outcome after the game is over, I'm sure he will get props from his teammate. But he is certainly doing all that he can to fend off the Bulldogs. But when you have such a strong lineup as they do, not a whole lot that you can do from an offensive or defensive side. Meyer has it, a long pass sent up. Nate Holm tried to play it, but lost his edges. Ice is slippery, you have to be careful when you're skating on the surface. Rimmed around under the red, played off the glass, Adinier with his long frame able to play it. Rico comes out of the paint. Able to play it. Ryder finds his way to Spagnolo. Excuse me, not Spagnolo, that was Devin Orpana. Ryder keeping his head up. D to D pass quickly to Spencer. Back to his partner, Ryder. Once again, back to Spencer. Connects with Calgen, but it tips off the forehand. Orpana coming in collision with Erickson. Things starting to slow down a little bit, just like they did in the second period. A lot of the offense, I should say most of, if not all of the offense, coming in the opening 60 seconds, and even under that, here in the third period, Bulldogs still leading four to nothing. 14.40 left to go. Just about six and a half gone. Played in the slot. Lovisek couldn't handle. In the corner. A quick move. On the post. Holding on is Meyer. 
as he's able to make the stop. Draws one and played. This finds its way to Lovesack. He gets taken down. Try to go inside and out. Stepping up to make the hit was Kyle Lee. Babiak, a bounce pass off the kick plate. Out of the reach of Lovesack, arm up, and we will get an icing as we'll travel back the other way. We talked about it a little bit before. We do have three Bulldogs who are out of the lineup for this evening. Ruffin, Heinz, and Shields. They're all representing Team USA at the University Games up in Lake Placid. Their opening matchup was played today against Great Britain. And they won by a score of 18 to nothing. The Bulldogs showing their stuff too. Ruffin had four points, a goal and three assists. Heinz had two points and tallied for two goals. And Shields alone assist. So we applaud all of our Bulldog hockey players representing their countries at the University Games. And if you're looking to tune in to any of those matchups, the USA faces off tomorrow against Korea at 8 o'clock. And you can find information on those live streams over on their website. If you're looking to tune in and catch some international play. Here's a wrap around. Luciani couldn't get it to go. Once again tries wide to the blocker side. Denia tees up but fanned on it. Adrian doing a great job controlling in their own zone. Doing whatever they really feel like at this point with the puck. Great cycling as this one squeaks through in the five hole. Meyer just barely able to hold on. Twelve twenty six left in regulation. Adrian dominating currently four to nothing over the visiting Finlandia Lions. They play tomorrow night also at home. And as always, you can catch that game right here on ACTV as Patosha scores! Ryan Patosha. Broke in on the two on one. We'll see it on the replay. Got a great feed over. Slips through the defense and finds the back of the net behind Meyer. Five nothing is the score with 12.07 left to go here at Arrington Ice Arena. Tallarico almost taken out by the play. As we were saying, if you're looking for tomorrow's action, once again here at Arrington, it's a 3 p.m. start. You can always catch our home games live on ACTV, just in the same place that you are at the moment. The women's team also play tomorrow again They won their contest 14 to nothing earlier this afternoon. They square off with Lawrence at 12 p.m. This is sent down for the icing.
Jake Swade will step in to the circle as he wins it back for Babiak. A fired shot was blocked as Owen Schmidt went down in some pain, but gets up and continues on. Calgen strips it and fires. I don't know if it caught the iron there. A lot of us losing sight of the puck as it was taken. Seemed like it might have hit up into the netting. Calgen absolutely wired that one. I don't think it caught the iron, but somehow found its way into the netting, so we'll restart on the draw. Babiak keeps it in, shuffles it low. A nice pass there, in front, taken away. Three on two, Finlandia steams up the ice. They break in, pulling up, canceling the pass as it's turned over. Calgen will come away with it. Fatorovic finds its way to Lee. Plays it across the boards. A turnover in the slot. Nobody there to touch up. Nice move breaking free. Calgen too far ahead of the stick of Summers. Here's a Denier. This big frame circles back. Played off the boards. Murphy, all alone, waffle boarded up into the glass by Meyer. Denier with a nice, quick, shifty move. Lovasek has it, opens up, looks for Ryder, and scooping it up with the glove was Meyer. As we're under the halfway point here in the third period of regulation play. Bulldogs leading five to nothing. They've scored four goals alone in this third period, three of which came in the opening 60 seconds of the third. Bulldogs trying to swipe for it, but it's the Lions who take it away. Bayer wraps down low. Tallarico with his head up, knew he had enough time, so he spun the other way and played it with the backhand. Denier stopping under the red, and that's tipped up into the netting. And we'll stop once again for the whistle. Bulldogs' next pair of games coming next weekend, January 20th and 21st. They face off against Lake Forest at Lake Forest. So we will not be able to cover those contests, but it's a 7 p.m. and a 3 p.m. start. If you're looking to catch those on the road. And then the following week, January 24th, the Bulldogs face off in an exhibition match against the USA National Development Team. That is a 7 p.m. start. And we will have the fortunate opportunity to call that live here on ACTV. So be sure to tune into that one as it's always a highly anticipated matchup between these two squads. The finest American-born hockey players coming up through the ranks as Luciani breaks free down low, picking up his Redding. Circles off, finds a pass up top. Cotto back to Redding. A quick move, fires over. Coming across the crease, Meyer with the stop. Here's Redding again, opens up. Tried to slide it over, and it's cleared out of the zone. Tallarico will likely make the stop here, and he does. Fans on it just for a second. Don't know if it was intentional or not, but he does lose his stick there. Scary play for him, so he's without the goalie paddle. We'll hopefully get it back in a couple of seconds. Coming the other way is Spodniak, taken down. Collides hard into the boards. Unhappy with the result, but 
has to get up nonetheless to continue on. Will make the change as it's wrapped around down low and finds its way towards the right half wall, ends on the collection. Long pass up, tipping it as Went, negating the icing call. Good awareness from him to make sure that the steady play of the steady flow of play, I should say, is continued. Ryder takes his man down. That was Totorovic. No call on the play, so we continue on. Ends is over the blue. Stops and drops for Went. Slides it over, trying to hit ends. Shot was canceled out. Ryder has Zach Seidel in front of him, who stops and waits patiently for the play to continue as the icing is weighted off. Swade will get there in time. Bounced up into the air. Swade, a nice move, breaking free. Skates down low under the red. Played back, Kaljan will contest for it alongside Dmitry Samosev. And we're gonna get a penalty on the play. Signal is being waved down as a high stick. I apologize, it was not a penalty there. The arm was up. Here's Lovasek, a bouncer off the half wall. Nearing the five minute mark on the backhand. Adenier fires wide to the glove side. Murphy trying to shake it free down low. Turning is Lovasek, a one timer. A great blocker stop. Meyer standing strong. Here's Murphy once again denied on the doorstep. Babiak calling for the pass. He wants one. Finally gets it. Looks for the lane. Fires on. Shoulder to side, but it's kept in at the top of the blue by Lovasek. Has to make a fancy play to keep it in. Babiak is taken down. And it shakes free out of the zone at Denier. We'll restart, Lovasek, a saucer pass to Murphy. Bounced up in the air. Coming fresh off the bench is Ryder. Here's Lovasek once again. Long shot on, into the chest. Easily held down and stopped by Meyer. Under five to play as this face-off one back. Ryder to Spodniak. Denied by Meyer. Spodniak again off the iron, stays out. And it's fought for hard as the Bulldogs come away with it. Ryder, a soft pass, may have been intended initially as a shot. Did not have enough force and kicking it free. Here's a shot on off the skate. Great stop by Spencer to get in the way of it. Ryder taking his time and picks up speed. Luciani wide. Played down low once again. Luciani will get it back. Right where he was when the shot was taken. Cycled back up top. Spencer fires on. That one off the target. Bad turnover there as it's head manned up for Spodniak. And it was almost gloved down, but not fully controlling it was Meyer and an early whistle. 
from the official, thought it was going to be played cleanly. So the Bulldogs will get to take the draw in the O zone. One back, Bulldogs controlling. Here's Went once again. Moves over. Quoto will look for a lane. Gets it back at the top of the key. Did he pass? A Denier fires on in between the leg pads. Meyer didn't see it, but is able to hold on. Great spinning move there. Shot on, scores! Devin Orpana, the freshman from Rockwood, Ontario. Lights the lamp for the sixth time tonight for the Bulldogs. His first goal of the season spun off and absolutely ripped it. Under three to play here at Arrington. Calgen fires up Orpana, quick bounce pass, and turning up with speed is Swade on the backhand. Didn't like the extra shove after the whistle as Meyer made the glove save. Things getting a little heated in the contest. You have to wonder how this is going to carry over into the contest tomorrow. These two teams, again, they do face off for the second time in two days. Game also being played here at home. We've seen a couple of spurts here and there where you can see the frustration from Finlandia. Bulldogs at that two, not showing that they're afraid to make some body contact as Swade breaks in. Checked into the boards as his head bounces off the glass. Swade fires. That one was blocked in front. A bouncer is Babiak made a reverse hit on Samusev. Summers dropped. Murphy, here's a shot. Sticked aside and kept out the 58th of the night. And 52nd for Dakota Meyer. Lovasek turns up. He's over the blue. Possession is lost momentarily, but then picked up by the Lions. Gloved down by Lovisek. Has to fend off a hit. Babiak trying to play it. Ryder to Dinier. And a snapped stick on the pass by Summers. As he'll have to drop it and skate off. Gets a new one back. Denier breaks free, steps off the blue line, showing his speed and skill. And we're under 60 to play. Lovasek, a soft dump in down low as it wires around the boards. Stops in the left corner.
up at center. Babiak, now to Kudo. Summers, Murphy, wide. There's a late attempt by Totorovic, and a hard hit. And we have a player down. Playing it over, and a great stop by Meyer. Todorovic was absolutely leveled. We'll see if we can find it here, but there was the save by Meyer. There was a hard hit made on Milos Todorovic. 15.3 left to go. Finlandia yet to register a shot in the third period. Babiak, back for Kudo, plays it up. Through the legs, three seconds, two and one. And that's going to do it. A shutout victory for Nick Tallarico. He wins the game six to nothing as the Bulldogs skate away with the W. What a great turnaround period for Adrian. They scored three goals in the opening 60 seconds of the third period, and then two more to follow it up through the rest 20 minutes of play. They played so defensively strong as well. They were able to nullify any further attempts from Finlandia who were not able to register a shot in the final 20 minutes of regulation. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for tuning in here at Arrington Ice Arena, live on ACTV. My name is Alex Herman. We thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. for round number two of Adrian and Finlandia. And with that, we bid you a good night, and we hope you're well wherever you are. On Tuesday, April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Docky, Back in August, I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause.
For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead.